Somebody put the hood up so Chandler can lose. Somebody start a challenge so Chandler can quit. <laughs> Chandler, you took your hand off. What do you mean? Freaked out. Did you take your hand off the wall? Yeah. Hi, my name is Evan Frerick. Welcome back to Epic Every Day. Today I want to talk about mindset. One of the main things about mindset is understanding who I am in relationship to the world. So it has to do with my own identity, has to do with how I observe what's going on around me, and then I'm through mindset and that perception, understanding how do I fit into what's going on around me. I want to talk about what's going on over on Mr. Beast's channel. Redemption time. Mr. Beast is one of mine as well as 20 million other people's favorite YouTuber. His videos are fun and lighthearted, full of contests and competitions and challenges with low risk and high reward. So it's like the opposite of high stakes. He loves to get random people and his friends involved in these crazy challenges. And the winners are winning tens of thousands of dollars. Or or often at least thousands of dollars. And, and he loves positivity. He wants to see people succeed and have fun. Some of the challenges are things like last to leave the circle wins $10,000. Uh, last to leave a pool full of slime wins $10,000. He's challenged himself to try to stay underwater for 24 hours. Like there's just all this crazy stuff on his channel. It's very entertaining and it's very fun and cool. And you can really see Mr. Beast's generosity in all this. He is very inclusive with the people that he has around him and the people he interacts with and that's part of his charm. His best friends work with for him and with him and they participate in the challenges as well. See my hater blockers? <laughs> Chandler! Yes. Who do you think will win? Chandler. This video is going to be about Chandler. Uh, one of Mr. Beast's friends, he's in all the challenges and yet He's never won a challenge. You can see Mr. Beast talking about how he, there, what, there's six or eight of them there. Chandler has not won a single one yet, and Mr. Beast really wants him to win right now. And so he's got this scheme to try to get Chandler to win that's going on right now as this video is going out. But I want to talk about Chandler because I think it's an interesting study in mindset. What is, and I'm, cu I'm just curious, I don't know any of these people, I just know what I see on the videos, but I'm just so curious about what's going on in Chandler's mind. Why is it that he never wins a contest? And what do we call this mindset? It's not really a whipping boy. Like a whipping boy mindset is this the scapegoat slash, you know, set a uh, reserved person like for punishment or whatever. And that's not happening because Chandler is fully accepted and fully integrated into this group of to Mr. Beast's friend group and they, they don't despise him. He just never wins. And th there's some lighthearted ribbing and some teasing, but you can really tell that everybody likes each other in this group and nobody dislikes Chandler. So he's not the whipping boy. He's just a never winner or I guess you could say a loser, but that sounds really awful, right? You don't ever want to call someone a loser, but I think it's self-sabotage. This guy just cannot or will not win. You're leaving your father. You sure? I can't do it. Chandler, man. think of what you could buy with 20 grand. He's already out, boy. He's already out. Yeah. Right, he's out. Woo. Chandler is officially out. And to kind of back this up, the first thing I want to look at is everything that Chandler has going for him. I mean, what an amazing situation to be in, right? He gets to work with his best friends. He's getting famous, which could be a blessing or a curse. He makes good money. And he has the possibility to make even more money if he would win a challenge. But I think that working with your friends and doing something fun and creative, like he is in an amazing position. And all these guys are like 20 and they're just having fun and it's very, very successful. And Chandler is a big part of that. So it's not like he's an outsider to that. He's right there in the middle of that. He's a big reason that people watch these videos. And so it's not like he is um, objectively you know, other than the group or, or not a part of the really core aspect of this team. And you can really tell that his friends love him too. Like they all like each other. And so people like Chandler, Mr. Beast likes Chandler. The other members of the team like Chandler. Chandler liked them. Although I, I think he distances himself. You know, I don't know. They're 20, you know, what are you going to do? You could tell. There's a lot of love and affection to go around, and it's a very cool thing to see. But it seems juxtaposed to that, we see Chandler losing every challenge so far. It seems like it's self-sabotage. It seems like he will refuses to let himself win. 
I mean, we see him give up. I mean, the challenges go on for hours usually. You know, sometimes it's like 24 hours or, or 48 hours. And so Chandler will make it like hours into this thing. And he won't always be the first one to be eliminated, but he's usually the first to be eliminated. But he's got some stamina. And then at some point he just decides he's done. Like in the most recent video, he was on the treadmill. He was the first to get eliminated. And it's it always just seems like he thinks it's funny to lose. And so maybe that's part of what's going on there too. Uh, but I wonder if there's something deeper going on. To contrast the difference between what's going on with Chandler, I think it helps to compare him to someone. So one of the other people on the team is Chris. Chris is Mr. Beast's first subscriber, and I, I don't know about best friend, but a really, really good friend. Uh, and Chris will often win. He won a car in one, and uh, he's won money in these contests. To me, Chris and Chandler are in the exact same level of status and uh, you know status in the group and respect from their peers and yet here's one guy who refuses to win and here's one guy who plays fair and whether he wins or loses he has fun and he genuinely tries and he will and he's won uh, some of these uh, contests so from the outside nothing's different except for what's going on in here what's going on in their mind oh my name is chandler and i like gusher chandler failed you failed second grade i forgot about chandler did you really say I'm kind of thinking out loud here. I'm brainstorming about what's going on with Chandler. I don't really know, like I said. But it's interesting to look at somebody and to try to think about it. it I think that's important, but without judgment. Whether I, So I said Chandler has the mindset of a loser. That I'm not putting him down. There's no judgment there and there's no ill will. It's just sort of what it seems like, right? It just seems like someone who won't let himself win. Someone who, even though he has more reason to be confident than many many people because of the things i already stated like working with his friends in a job that makes good money and doing something creative and fun there's still something else there you know we don't know what's going on in somebody's mind but the interesting thought experiment is to imagine what if that was me or to try to identify with what's going on and to say well what would make me feel that way and to then that builds sympathy uh, and, and hopefully empathy, you know, if you guess right, uh, as to what's going on there. And I think that's an important thought experiment to help our mindset. Everybody we meet is probably going through something that's almost unbearable. Jordan Peterson says that. And so it's really not right, and it doesn't even really make sense to judge. So if somebody's rude, we can start to think about why that may be, but we can do it without judgment and we can do it without putting them down and we can do that without despising them. We should actually, they should actually be elevated in our thought, our mind, because this person is going through something that I can't really imagine. And yet, um, but, but I can care for them maybe, or I can be interested in their life. And that certainly is a gift. Um, so I'm doing this with somebody I probably will never meet. I hope you see that there's, a way to do it without putting the person down. There's a way to do it that really elevates them, at least in your own mind. And um, and if enough people did that, we would, they would build respect uh, in general because people are going through things that we, we have no idea. We just see their actions and we might be like, well, that's ridiculous, I would never do that. But you probably would if you were them because if you were them, you'd be doing the exact same thing. So Chandler, if you're watching, I want to see you win, man. And I know a lot of other people do. And I hope you understand that you are in an incredible situation where your friends love you, you are respected, you are a member of a team that is really vibrant. And um, I think you got a lot going for you, man. The, the whatever, you know, everybody's got stuff behind the scenes. It can be helped though. There is solutions out there. Um, I believe strongly in faith solutions and specifically biblical faith. The mindset, it, I guess I was really investigating and just kind of thinking what his might be. It causes me to reflect on my own mindset. Do I understand my own position well? I mean, I am think I'm seeing Chandler's, right? I'm like, oh boy, he's got all this stuff going for him. If maybe somebody looks at my life and is like, why do you get depressed sometimes? Why are you so tired? Like you are, you know, they could, could be, the shoe could be on the other foot. And I want to see 
reality. I want to see what's going on with my life and I want to understand it. And the only way to do that is through a biblical perspective about who I am. I'm a child of the King. I am someone who uh, is known by God and who has access to prayer. I mean, there's just some incredible things uh, that are true in our lives. And But it's easy to lose track of that stuff, especially when you're in it. Uh, for whatever reason, we, we see that in other people all the time, but we, it's hard to see it in ourselves. So I hope that we can see other people try to think about what's going on and identify, but without judgment. And then let's examine ourselves. Um, and, and God can help us do that. God, what is going on with me? What is wrong with the way I am thinking about even my own life? Um, especially if I just spend all my time complaining about what's happening. I know I fall into that. I Sometimes my prayer life is just complaining. And God is patient enough to listen to that. And I want to see what's right. I want to see how God is working in my life, even when I don't understand it. And that's really most of the time. I don't, my mind can't handle it. I love this verse about why we can't really understand what God is doing. It's 1 Corinthians 2 9, and it says this As it is written, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no human mind has conceived the things God has prepared for those who love him. And again, here's another great identity verse for Christians. And remember, our identity shapes our mindset. What we understand about ourselves, we project that on the world. And we need to keep that in mind. Romans 8, 35 through 37. Who will separate us from the Messiah's love? Can trouble, distress, persecution, hunger, nakedness, danger, or violent death do this? In all these things, well, anyway, what can separate us? And the answer is nothing. In reality, nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. The love of Christ is available to anybody and everybody. We are created by God, whether you believe in Him or not, and the love of Christ is available there. And it transforms our mindset so that we can see the world rightly, we can see ourselves rightly, and we can understand um, our purpose, which is an amazing thing. That changes mindset. I mean, without a sense of purpose, that's like one of the leading causes of depression. Without a daily sense of purpose, why am I doing this? Why do I go to work? Why do I wake up? It's easy to fall into to depression. But with that, it's an amazing access to peace and a sense of purpose. So that's what we want. So that's mindset. Um, and that's what's going on. Well, I don't know what's going on at Chandler, but it seems like there's a mindset issue there preventing him from winning. And I really hope he figures it out and starts to win. I'll be watching. Um, I hope you can see your mindset in all of this. And when you think about somebody that's intriguing to you, or maybe they bother you, try to think about what's going on with the mindset there. What might be their mindset? What might be going on with your mindset that causes you to want to judge them? And let's try to put that aside. I'm going to try to do it through prayer. I encourage you to do the same thing. That's the only way we can really change. God has to change us from the inside out. Thanks for listening to Epic Every Day. Here, you guys, and talk to you soon. As you guys know, Chandler has not won a challenge yet. He's lost all of these. We're going to do last to leave challenges until Chandler finally wins one. And you guys really want him to win one. So I'm gonna do something special. If Chandler wins a challenge, I'm gonna give him a $50,000 bonus on top of the prize. So if he wins today, he'll get the prize plus $50,000. So shh, he doesn't know about any of this.